What is Clever Bug? I mean, I, I know I've written about you guys before, and I have a certain understanding of it in terms of social media and bringing social media into the physical world, but if you can tell me a bit about it in your own words. Yeah, well, our, our aim in Clever Bug is to disrupt the $27 billion global greeting card industry from the convenience of your mobile phone. Um, I see three shifts in the future. The first obvious one at the moment is an explosive growth towards mobile. The second one is that we see the web being rebuilt around people rather than content. Uh, and the third one, as you, as you said, was, was, to, was the connectivity and the need to connect the online and the offline world. So at Cleverbug, we've developed a mobile app that automatically creates personalized birthday cards for your Facebook friends and family, and it incorporates their photos, their interests, their timeline events, and then we print those cards and ship them anywhere in the world within 24 hours. And um, in terms of, uh, like, I mean, that's, that's, that's a really cool thing to do, and I mean, I'm sure people would be very surprised when they wake up next day after having a conversation and they see the picture on something. Uh, and I see you have a few samples there. Of course, there's Paddy Cosgrave on the cover of Time, or Times, as you say it. And there, there he is, wanted dead or alive. In terms of the uh, success so far, I mean, uh, where, where are you at in your development? I mean, uh, one thing is, it's, I, I'm already thinking of the logistics involved in getting a card to somebody within 24 hours, but how, 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 where are you at in getting to that point? Or you're, I mean, you're already at that point, but where are you at in your own development as a business? Well, I suppose I've been quite fortunate, just a, a bit of background to the context of this. I, when I was 25, I did the second largest management buyout in Ireland that I sold for $20 million to Mead West Faco, which was a, an $8 billion New York Stock Exchange listed packaging group. So, and I subsequently joined their board, board of directors, which was a billion dollar division across Europe. So I was on the board of a billion dollar printing business when I was 30. Um, that gave me credibility, I think, in this space to go out and reach out. So as a result, um, we now have 75 printing facilities around the world um, that we've contracted under an SLA, it's to Apple vendor status. We've got 72 in the States, we've three in Europe, and we've got one in Japan. So, you know, we've got, you know, an utterly beautiful product that's, you know, top quality printing um, in a beautiful envelope, and it's shipped literally within 24 hours. And our technology, you know, if you're here and you want to send it to your brother in San Francisco, or if you're in a coffee shop in London and you want to get it to your cousin in New York, it's literally from that mobile device, a few clicks, we've got it printed in the, in the place closest to where the recipient is going to be, and it's, shi it's shipped there. So our commitment really is around postal, that we say it'll be there within five days, but it's actually shipped within 24. It's kind of one of the first, uh, I suppose, uh, cash generative sounding social businesses I've really heard of. Everything else sounds like they've, they've, they've a lot to, to prove in terms of getting to, to bring in revenue. Where are you at in terms of your business development? Have, have you taken on funding? Are you seeking funding? Uh, are you bringing in revenues already? Are you, you know, where are you at? Well, just to address two things, the capital and, and then the business model. If we just take the business model maybe first of all. So, you know, our monetization strategy is like we've got a revenue model from day one. As a matter of fact, we've got a gross profit model from day one because it's a, it's, it's a high cash, it's a high gross profit margin um, business. So in terms of you know, what we've got on that front, it's, it's, um, it's easily leverageable in terms of all the other timeline events that you have. So it's not just birthday cards, it's, it's all the events in your life. In terms of the funding for the business, I raised two and a half million dollars of seed capital led by Delta Partners, Ireland's largest VC last November. Um, and that allowed me to put a very strong team together, you know. Um, Mark Brophy, who's COO, has been in e-commerce for about 15 years. Um, he led um, retail for EMEA for Hotels.com and built their global platform, his team built their global platform. Um, and um, we very recently, um, it's not, we haven't properly announced it yet, but we, we are very, very close um, to signing with a non-exec director who led one of the top 25 um, e-commerce companies in the world. Um, so um, at the moment we've had um, the last kind of eight to ten weeks we've had approaches from two quite large tier one VC firms um, in terms of going for seed round, for going for series A round now at the moment. So that's one of the matters that we're considering whether we go now or we wait a little bit further. You know.